Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as mentioned before, I'll be doing the Ultra Action Figure Ultraman Reboot next. So here it is guys. So let's start off with the box art. So for the packaging, it is very very familiar to those who collect the 6.5 Ultra Hero series. So you will understand that it has a very similar packaging, a similar feeling as well as with the Reboot Hyperkey. So yeah, a very simple one. So this is how the box look like up front. You have this new Bandai Namco logo over here. Very very neat. Has a galaxy theme for the back part of the box. Ultraman reboot, the red Bandai logo and also the holographic sticker of Subaraya production. So yeah, this is how the figure looks like up I mean the box that looks like up front. You can clearly see the figure inside. So at the side, you has the you have the illustration of Ultraman reboot. At the back, you have multiple, you know, description in Japanese, of course. And the poses that you can do the figure in. And at the other side, you have this Subaraya imagination. At the bottom, you have more description. And at the top, you can just see the figure. So yeah, I've actually opened this box. So yeah, but it is still MIS. B. I only open it because I want to push this part over here. It was dented during during de delivery. Very very sad. So yeah. So it's a very simple mechanism. So let's unbox it. So guys, here's the figure out of the box. Oh my I couldn't say more this is my first time collecting ultra action figures so yeah my you know judgment might be you know wrong but you could head out to my friend's channel uh, ultra is6 he explains he collects a lot of this uaf figure and he reviews them in bahasa malaysia so you can go ahead and check his channel out i'll leave a link in the description below and yeah i'm just happy to have this very first UAF figure in my collection and it is also Ultraman Reboot. So what I can say about this figure, it is beautiful guys. It feels solid and I've examined through it. Mine has no paint leakage or paint bleeding, paint chips. It is nice. So yeah, I'll bring it up close for you to look at the details. So you can clearly see it's the Ultraman Reboot head over there. Very, very nice. The body is nicely sculpted. It really feels solid, I'm not gonna lie, it is plastic. Yeah, very nice. However, this is kind of like the 5.5 inch soft ubi where you have no paint at the back, which is very, very, mm, yeah, annoying at times, you know, but you can custom this easily. But I'm not doing any customization because, um, yeah, I don't feel like doing so. So yeah, very, very nice. The details are spot on. Like I said earlier, you can always add on the details at the back yourself. But it's not going to be the case for today. In terms of articulation, this figure has a head movement that is very acceptable to me. The head is on a ball joint. So yeah, and it has some neck movement. You can push it front this much it's not really neck movement i would say it's the bolt joint so yeah very nice range of motion it has a bolt joint for the shoulder a bicep swivel a single joint elbow and also the hands are on bolt joint and the fingers can move although it's awkward to you know move two fingers at a time but it is acceptable <laughs> there are no waist rotation and yeah for the ties it could move up 90 degree to the front you can't move much to the back to the side almost 90 degree it has a single joint knee and some foot movement it is on a ball joint there are no toe articulation though so yeah very very nice so guys that's it for the articulation of the ultra action figure a very simple one it has no any extra accessory 
but yeah this is still a good figure um, in terms of the price comparing to the SH figure art of course this is much cheaper it's half the price well I would say below than half the price of SH figure art and yeah the vast different it has no accessory a very limited uh, articulation uh, the paint paint job is not complete like the SH figure art however it's still a very nice figure so if you have a toddler who want to play with your SH figure art and you feel like uh, you don't want to damage your SH figure art you can always get this to them you know give this to them as an option because this figure here is definitely much more durable compared to the SH figure art you can play very harshly with them <laughs> And yeah, you can always do some custom painting yourself. The reason why I don't do custom painting for the UAF is maybe in the future I would like to buy some, you know, paintbrush and airbrush. Sorry, so yeah, if I have an airbrush, I would love to do some paint job for this UAF figure. So yeah, it's another project for another time. And I actually wanted to get Ultraman Gaia UAF this year but then I saw the um, SCLA version release the Ultraman Dyna set where it has you know accessories so I was like hey this year is the 25th anniversary of Ultraman Dyna right so who knows what they will do for Ultraman Gaia next year so I was like you know what I'm gonna wait and you know get Gaia next year so yeah that's it guys for my thoughts on this UAF figure. You can always check out my friend like I've said earlier, Ultra IS6 at his channel where he reviews more of this Ultra Action figure, Ultraman figures. So yeah guys, I love you guys. As always, thank you for supporting me and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye guys.